Hello everybody, we're shooting here in the factory today, so please don't mind the, all the noises. There's a lot of birds in here and doors are rattling and stuff, so I do apologize. So I thought I'd just chat about some high bay lighting, um, because we have been installing a lot of high bay lighting lately. And um, high bay lights are basically the lights that you find in factories and warehouses, anything with a high roof. And what we find most commonly in the high bay lights are these fittings here on my right hand side. It's got an E40 connector. And the most common bulbs that you do find in them are these guys over here. These are known as HIDs, high intensity discharge lamps. And uh, they all basically work on the same principle. Um, with this, It's got a switch gear in it that helps run this lamp. The different types that you get in these are your um, mercury vapors, your metal halides, and your high pressure sodium lamps. The problem that I find with these lights are they are very high in um, energy consumption. This one, for example, is a 400 watts. The energy output on this is quite high compared to the alternatives that you get on the market nowadays. So the alternatives that we do suggest to the clients, uh, depending on their budget and stuff, we'll normally do a whole bunch of different types of uh, quotes and stuff like that for them to give them the different options and see what um, they would prefer for us to install. So <clears throat> you get a uh, lamp like this, which is known as a CFL, a compact fluorescent lamp, energy saver lamp. Uh, this one, for example, is only an 85 watts compared to the 400 watts of the lamp that I just showed you. These are nice for a lower set kind of a roof um, because the lights I've put on these I find aren't really all that great. Then the other alternative to these CFLs are the LED alternatives, which are these guys here. Also, same E40 connection. Uh, this one in particular is a 50 watt. Uh, also not bad for a lower set kind of a roof, but um, the, for the higher base stuff, I find that these are just not as efficient. You can also install a higher wattage in those, which are like these ones here, 100 watts on this one. The light output on this is also not that fantastic, uh, especially when they're inside these reflectors. I find that the light isn't really nicely spread out and stuff. This actually comes down quite low to the bottom of that fitting and the light that gets dispersed from here isn't really spread out that much. So also for me it's more of a lower kind of a, in a lower kind of setting if you want to call it that. Uh, my favorite ones to install in place of these is to take that fitting off completely and then we put in what we like to call the UFO type LED lights. Uh, very high quality chipset. This one is a Leadvance and it's a 200 watt. These normally come with between a three to five year warranty on these. I'm not 200% sure on that, but it's a better alternative in my opinion and my favorite one to install. It might be a bit pricey to change all your lights all at one go with these, but as the high bays and the factories go, we like to put these in. These are our favorite ones to install. All right, guys, that was just a quick little video on high bay lighting and stuff. Didn't go into too much detail. Just wanted to show you what we come across on an everyday basis. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, all our company's details are down below if you want to get hold of us or get in touch with us. Thank you.